Hey Cancer, welcome to your early March reading. This is for the general collective of Cancerians. It will not resonate with everybody. If it doesn't, you can also check out the reading in this series that uh, aligns with your rising sign. So what I'm looking at here is the Divine Masculine and Feminine Journey. And last week I focused on the Divine Masculine. Today I want to look at um, where you are in the connection, how you got here, and where you're going. So it'll be a little mo bit more of a combo, combo of your energies. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And for those who are returning, thank you so much. Last week was huge. You really helped promote the channel, and I love the engagement, so I really hope that continues. Thank you so much for your comments, your emails. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can, and I appreciate your patience. Okay, so I'm uh, using Moonology since we just came through the um, new moon in Pisces. This reading is not date or time specific, but sometimes when the energies uh, and lunations are heavy, I like to mention that so you know what was influencing the reading. But if it comes along your path and it's the title resonates and the storyline resonates, it's your message. But the masculine gets the card, uh, new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. So there's very much a paying it forward kind of an energy. And feminine gets believe in the impossible. Once in a blue moon. There you go, Cancer. That's your moon. Once in a blue moon. Okay, and then I want to pick just one card for you, Cancer. Uh, just for you. Whoever is watching, that is the Cancer energy. So if you're a cross-watcher, this message is for your counterpart. Abundance. Mm-hmm. You're calling in abundance, um, but it's not just abundance like money, money, abundance. It's, it's, it's like a wealth of riches in your emotional outlook, um, the prosperity you feel on the inside as things just, you know, your good energy multiplies. That's what I'm feeling, Cancer. So um, this figure here. It's interesting because it's uh, it's Hunter Moon. It's the Hunter Moon, and and it's like all Earth's little creatures are coming out to greet this person. I mean, she's holding a fox. Um, yeah, everything is coming toward you. You're just attracting all that's good and abundant, and I am sending my love and energy that that continues. Okay. So I want to look at the, oh, wow, this card keeps coming out. This page of swords. <laughs> this is divine masculine. Uh, the page of swords is um, the detective of the tarot. We like to say I spy. So in today's, in today's world, this would be maybe keeping tabs on the feminine, maybe just scrolling through the social media it can be communicating with someone you you know in common so if you're the feminine watching i think somebody's watching you in return if you are the masculine here then this may speak to you um about your desire to sort of assess the situation from an outside vantage point and this uh feminine gets king of pentacles now, in this particular deck, this is the pre-Raphaelite deck, which is very beautiful. Um, very, very Italianate. This King of Pentacles looks a little for, forlorn, right? But for me, this, this card in this deck signifies the energy of heavy is the head that wears the crown. A lot of responsibility. The king of pentacles is usually like a husband figure, a father figure in, in the family setting. The pentacles is 3D. It's what's happening here in reality. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy of the grounded, abundant, right? Generous and giving with time, resources, energy. And I kind of feel like heavy is the head that wears a crown. So this is either your energy here, Cancer. This is how you're coming into the reading or you're acknowledging that in the masculine. We'll see in a minute. 
I want to shuffle a little bit more. Get a feel now for where you are in this connection, Cancer. What? See? Popping. Mm hmm. keep this over here for a second it's underneath the deck so it's sort of unconscious to you so we know that we have this energy of sort of observation i mean the pages are messengers so there could be a um this masculine wants to deliver a message of honesty or truth that's very possible but it, it more than likely is sort of standing from a safe vantage point and observing the feminine but where we are right now is some anxiety, some obsession, processing something on a loop over and over and over again. And I feel you're both doing it. And, it, um, and that's why this, this poor feminine energy looks exhausted. Like I said, heavy is the head that wears a crown. How did we get here? Well, here's Leo energy, happiness, right? Just stepping out into the sunshine, having a moment of vulnerability in the connection, a moment of vulnerability. And then it's like, <gasps> oh my God, I can't believe I let my guard down. I can't believe, right? And that's what's sending us into this um, mental oh. I'm going to say exhaustion. Look at her. Just laid out. So I do want to look at that. And where you're headed, though, is whoop, time to make a choice. You're, you're, this is about your future here, Cancer. So I think in the connection, what's coming up next is looking at the paths before you, uh, what roads you could possibly walk down in this connection, and then making the choice. Now, I just want to say there isn't a right or wrong here. It's just what's best for you. And... It's not what's best for the other person. You, in this part of the reading, you have to understand that you both have free will and what's best for you may not be best for the other person and vice versa. So this is both of you coming to this crossroads, looking at the paths before you and making a choice. And I think that's why we have some anxiety because there is happiness here. There's like, oh my gosh, I found my person. I found my person. And that kicks up a lot of dust and, and, and of the past things that have failed in the past. Now, this was underneath the deck. This is another card of Leo. So Cancer, some of you may be dealing with a Leo. You may be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or have a lot of earth in your own chart but the two the two cards that come up that are major arcana here are both leo cards so i'm just going to say that you can have a lot of leo in your chart um the uh, this is the strength card persevering and it's also helping each other she tames the lion the lion protects her in return i'm just saying that this is underneath the deck so when we're looking at when it comes down to what path do we choose, you may need to help each other persevere and push forward and overcome the obstacles of your fear. This is the, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God card. And I just kind of feel like that, oh my God, oh my God, came because there was a moment of bliss and joy and happiness. Page of Swords for the Masculine. Mm -hmm. Kind of leaving things up to fate. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, wow. Uh, there you sh you're showing up in their reading, Cancer. Um, Queen of Cups. Mm. One more. Yes judgment answering the call of the connection uh that is a card of scorpio so we have scorpio sagittarius 
your energy showing up here cancer pisces scorpio queen of cups so i sort of feel like this um this is a message to you but it's also a message of clarity they are observing you but not like telescope and not magnifying glass they're sort of watching this all unfold in this divine time like understanding there's something greater at work here they may not know it is fate or destiny but they're feeling the power of that they are receiving your unconditional higher vibration love your emotional availability, your openness, your compassion, Cancer. It's what you're known for, that, that nurturing energy. And, and the Cancerians play it close to the vest, so that's not easy for another person to perceive unless you have let them into your sanctum. So I kind of feel like they're saying, I'm going to answer the call of this connection. The judgment card is twin flame energy. It is answering the call of the connection. It can be reconciliation. So if there was a falling out between um, you, Cancer, if your storyline involves periods of separation and reunion, this is like they're ready for reunion. Um, if you do know who this person is and you're communicating with them, even if it's spotty, they're, they're bracing to answer the call, but they're observing from a distance. So there's still some measure of um, divine time needs to roll out here as they watch and get the clarity of what you mean to them and of the role you play in, in their life. And they're going to answer the call. I feel they're already answering it. I just don't think they know that that's what they're doing. They could. But King of Pentacles, provider energy, grounded, stable. Oh, yeah. Six of Cups, Past Life Soulmate. So I do feel heavy as the head that wears the crown because, and I'm saying that over and over, it may be the title. I'm saying it for a reason. That may be the title of this or somewhere in this reading when I process it. But I feel the, head, the weight of the world on your shoulders here, Cancer, to stay grounded. But also to keep your mental energy sharp. The kings all have extra swords energy. The queens have extra cups. So this king, the reason why you're showing up here as a king and not a queen of pentacles is because you're not fully operating from your heart space. You're, in, you're strategizing. You're thinking things through. You're um, a little more in your head than in your heart with because you understand this is a past life soulmate energy. And... This can be somebody from your past that's come back. This can be a repeat, right? An encore performance of this relationship, Cancer. But it could just also be you understanding that this relationship has existed beyond time and space. And that's a very heavy burden. There's the sun. Yes! You're literally trying to hold down the fort here in reality in the 3D because you recognize the power. And now I'm really feeling Leo energy coming through here very strongly in this reading for somebody. Um, you're recognizing. I mean, you know, you know, they're recognizing, you know, that's why the heaviness of the king of pentacles for you, Cancer. So let's look at this Nine of Swords. It's where you are right now. A lot of anxiety. Mm. Um, underneath this, the soulmates here. This is who I think, I think that's where you are at right now. But there's something that isn't settled yet. Now, we've got the Justice card libra energy balance fairness but it can also be some legal disposition um some lack of balance in the 3d 
that's keeping everything off kilter for you here, Cancer. And and you're trying to manifest some measure of balance and fairness here. I feel like for some of you, there may be pending separation, divorce. There may be a pending legal situation of some sort that has to take place before you can move on. And, and everything's hinging on that. It can be child custody. It can be, right? It can be anything like that. Um, but it can also just be there's an imbalance here. And it can be mental imbalance. If somebody is obsessing and full of anxiety at a clinical level, it can be that. But it can also, and I'm not here to diagnose people, I just play one on TV, but I feel like there's a, an energy here of heightened anticipation of some situation being resolved in a manner that's fair and balanced so that you can manifest that which you desire. And this is in the connection. So it can be both ways. And it is with regard to the soulmates here. That's the two of you. How'd you get here? Oh, yeah. Let the sun shine. Let the sun shine. And once you expose that vault, your soft underbelly cancer, it's hard to run back into your shell. I know you. Yes. Well, all right. Whoo. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so I think I'm gonna I'm, I'm yeah, a lot of fear here. So how did we get here? This heightened anxiety, this sort of sitting on the head of a pin thing. Well, we kind of let our guard down, didn't we? For a brief moment, we stood in, in the sun, didn't we? Cancer, and then we are like. What are we getting ourselves into? Leo Capricorn energy showing up here, but this is the, the devil energy can be just, it can be as simple as letting your hair down, walking on the wild side a little bit. This can be just cancer stepping out into the sun and letting you know this is the crab flipped over on the beach and enjoying the warmth of the sun and then saying oh no oh no that's too wild <laughs> that's a little too much exposure and trying to rein it back in and get grounded and take care of yourself right this this sort of abundance and um a time to give rather than receive this is the giving rather than receiving and i kind of feel like the masculine the masculine is a little bit afraid, but I do feel, Cancer, that this is all your energy showing up in this part of the reading. Like you stood into the, you stepped into the sunlight and then you had to rein it back in because you're like, what am I getting myself into? Am I ready for this? The Queen of Pentacles is about readiness, groundedness, uh, nurturer, caretaker, but also really this is a part of self-care. And I love that it's showing up king and queen of pentacles, power couple here, and a lot of fear. You don't know what to expect. And so you yank back, and that's how we got to this nine of swords and the justice things being out of balance, waiting to manifest something. But I, there's something that has to take place here to restore the balance before you can bring to you that which you desire in this soulmate connection. So I hope you're following me. Um, two of wands in the future. This is about making a choice. Are you going to choose to live in the sun or are you going to stay tied to that devil energy that keeps you chained up? Strength. Now we have it twice. Wow. For some of you Cancerians, you are definitely dealing with a Leo or someone with, with Leo rising or prominent Leo energy. If you are a Cancerian with Leo rising, go watch the Leo. Re I'm just saying there's a lot of Leo coming through here. One, two, three, four. Whew. Love me some Leos, but this is crazy. So yeah, um, this is going to take a lot of courage, Cancer. 
you're gonna you're gonna have you're gonna have to expose the soft underbelly to the harsh realities of life uh, in order to make the best decision for yourself in this connection. You're both gonna be choosing the path, and you may need to help each other and persevere past the struggle, past the obstacle, past the challenge. You may need to help each other through that. Because this is what it's all about. And this is what's at stake. Life partnership, Ten of Pentacles, all the abundance. Mm -hmm. You know who you are. All right. As I mentioned, or if I didn't mention in the extended, I'm going to look at a message to you from your higher self cancer challenges or blocks to this connection. Like how can you get out of your own freaking way? <laughs> Next best step or advice. And then the potential outcome. I'm also going to pull cards where I share energetic messages between the divine counterparts, you to your divine counterpart and them to you. So if this is speaking your storyline, the link to the extended is below. I hope to see you there in a minute. Otherwise have a great rest of your week. I'll see you in a future reading. Bye.